All right, guys. Um, I don't know how great this is gonna turn out because I forgot my SD card and my vlog camera doesn't have another SD card, so I'm filming it on my iPhone. iPhone gang, what up? Fuck you, Android, just kidding. Like, I still like you a little bit because um, I have Android as well. Anyways, uh, I'm waiting to go to the gym right now, uh, as you guys can tell. So I'm waiting to go into the gym and I just had a long conversation with, uh, I guess you guys would call him like a tax guy or like a financial advisor or something like that. And we got talking about, um, I don't know how we got in this conversation, but uh, we were talking about finding the good in any situation. Uh, I guess he was talking to me about like my past and things like that. So we got talking about like um, my message and, and what I care about and, and kind of why I do everything that I do. And so you guys can take something from this um, little vlog bullshit before I go into the gym. Um, real quickly, I guess I just want to sum, sum up the conversation so you guys can get something. And it comes down to this. No matter what is going on in your life, good, bad, and, and let's look at bad in this case. Let's say, let's say you got a ticket, right? Let's say you got a fucking speeding ticket or something like that. And I know my normal reaction is like, motherfucker, fucking fuck the cops pulling me over i'm like this motherfucker's gonna ruin my day i know i was going too fast here's my ticket here's this 400 or 600 if you're in california it's probably like a nine thousand dollar ticket and you're know, like damn it i gotta pay this ticket it's not actually nine thousand dollars it's like 800 which is still like fucking outrageous but california so anyways you get this ticket and you're like fuck this is terrible uh, this is the worst shit. I gotta, I gotta pay my rent. Now I gotta buy my groceries, and I gotta fucking pay this ticket. Oh shit! And you got a headache, right? Now, that's the first way to look at it. You're pissed. It bothers you for like a week. It bothers you for like two weeks. It bothers you the whole month because now your rent's all fucked up. And I guess what the reality is like, that could have gone another way. Where okay, you take it as a fucking L. Okay, take the L. You lost. You fucked up. You shouldn't have been speeded. Who knows? Maybe if you kept speeding, you would have ran into someone. And either fucking fucked your car up, scratched your car, totaled your car, killed yourself, killed another person. Who knows? Like, I'm not trying to go way into that deep, deep conversation of shit, but you could have done any of those number of things, right? Now, so what I'm saying, and the reason why I'm saying all this is like, things will happen in your life that are shitty. Things will happen in your life that make you feel down. Things will happen in your life that are fucking like gut-wrenching. You know, you lose someone in your life, uh, someone breaks up with you, you lose a friend, you lose some money, you, you, whatever, right? Something happens in your life. You lose something, something is, is sad in you. There will always be times like that, no matter how much money you have, no matter how little money you have, no matter where you're at in your life. Now, with that being said, how you look at those situations will shape the rest of your life, right? Because something can only happen to you right now today, right? And you decide if it's gonna to continue to affect you for the next year, for the next two weeks, for the next hour, for the next day, whatever it is. Now, something can happen to you and you can allow it to affect you for whoever, however long. Or you can decide like, okay, this happened. What can I learn from this? How can this better me as a person, as an individual? How can I not let this happen again? What can I learn to improve myself from this situation? And I think a lot of people get caught up in just focusing on the negative and letting it just like, fucking spinning circles in their brain about how shitty the situation is and then they never really get out of that and then more bad shit will start to happen then more trashy sh and then you never get to that like the good side the light side of things the where things can just be easy right and people get stuck in that dark like oh this is fucked so anyways i'm saying all this to say like something's going on in your life whether it's happening now or it's going to happen in the future something's always going to happen the way that you respond the way that you react will shape the rest of your life do not let the little things control you. Do not let the little things change who you are as, an, a, pers as a person, who, who you are and what you represent, okay? Don't let it fucking warp you up and make you feel like you know, you need to uh, be a shittier person or you need to feel like you need to change the way you are as a person. Just be you, right? And adapt and change and get better. Use the negatives, right, to develop the positives, okay? I'm out. I'm going to get this fucking workout in. Hopefully this video footage was good. Hopefully the audio is good. I don't know if I had the AC blowing in your guys' fucking ears. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm headed to the bay. I'm probably already in the bay when you guys see this vlog. But uh, I appreciate you guys. I'm out. I'll get you some vlog footage of the workout. But it's going to be with my phone.
Um, so hopefully the audio is good because the audio is not great on these. But uh, I love you guys. I appreciate you. I'm out. So much more coming. Make sure you stay tuned. Subscribe. Like. If you don't like it, just don't thumbs up it, you fucking assholes. God, who, who, like, there's some people who will thumbs down, like, some shit where it's like, I saved a baby from a burning fucking bush, tree fire, and I saved the grandma too, and I gave someone a thousand bazillion dollars, and some motherfucker would still be like, ah, fuck this motherfucker, fuck this bitch. So anyways, I'm out. Give it a thumbs up. Yeah? Oh yeah? What you got then? Look at this. The force is strong. Oh, you super tough, huh? Oh, you so tough. Oh wow, you so tough. Show me how tough you are then. I'm about to show them your dog curls. You do dog front lateral raises. Oh, you're tough. Oh, she's off to Florida. Oh, shit. Oh, she... Yo, am I bad? She don't give a fuck though. You good? Is your back hurt? Is it, you break your back? Is it spinal? Spinal, huh? You fuck. You're funny, man. Look at those eyes. This is the cutest dog on the face of the planet. Get it then. Get it then. Get it then. Okay? All right, fam. I'm gonna miss you. I'm out there. I'm gonna go on home. Can't take you on a plane. I know. I know it's bullshit. Fuck American Airlines. Right? Hate those guys. Hate them. Alright, bam. Okay, you won. She's like, yeah. She's like, I didn't want to win. She never wants to win. She likes to just play. Get it, bam. Anyways. All right, so you guys, this is the craziest thing. So I'm at the airport, and if you guys have ever been to like LA or LAX, um, flew in LAX or flew out of LAX, um, you know that LAX is quite possibly the worst. And I don't say the worst airport, but it's a headache. No matter what, no matter where you're going, no matter what time you're going, you stand, you wait as long as possible every time, and. This is the Bob Hope Airport, which is in Burbank. And um, I think I paid like $300 more to fly out of this airport to go home. And literally like, there was zero line. Um, it's it's like the nicest airport experience ever. Like if you guys, if you've ever been to LAX, you'll know what I'm talking about. But this has been like, I mean, look at this shit. Look at this. Like, you can see the door where you walk in and you can see the terminal where you walk out to the plane. Look at this shit, right? And see on the other side of that is basically the doors to walk into the airport. So I went through no line. They didn't even ask me to take my hat off. And now from there to here is my terminal. Man, so anyways, oh, I think I'm gonna get some food. Probably some candy. Yo, look, they knew I was coming. I'm about to buy all this shit, all that, all that candy, and the nuts, just because, and those, just because. But I probably won't. I'm probably just gonna get like this because I'm dying. It's almost January, and we're getting shredded. So make sure you guys, if you guys are ready for January, comment below. Um, ready for January? Getting shredded. Coming soon. All right. So I was uh, I was here editing. I had to, I had to. I was actually editing. I swear I was actually doing work. 
but he came up and I had to grab my memory card out and put it in the, in the camera. Oh, yeah, so yeah. I'm vlogging. Say what up. What up, guys? Nice to finally meet you, Bradley. So he came up to me and was like, bro, you're the best in the world. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it really is exactly what I said. But no, straight up, nice to meet you, man. We're out here bro. for the holidays. So. Tell me your name, man. Kevin. My name's Kevin from uh, from here, from LA. So and he likes long walks out. on the beach. Exactly. Long yeah. walks on the beach, mm -hmm. orange drinks, mm -hmm. everything, well, the whole package. Yeah. So we're out here. Just wishing everyone a happy holidays, guys. Absolutely, man. Dude, thank you for the love. Appreciate Take care, man. Keep yeah. the good work, man. Thank you, bro. Yeah, so just got in. Just got into San Francisco. We ran into. Tell me your name. Jamie, I'm Jamie and from San Diego. And of course, you can't leave him out. I'm like, yo, I'm grabbing his, it's your girl, right? Yeah. I'm grabbing his girl, like, come here. And we just got uh, engaged to here oh, in San Francisco. Oh, crazy, so. congrats. Yeah. Dan, it's beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Oh, no, no, we're good, it's a video. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's a video, thank you, though. <laughs> so tell him, tell him what your name is. Thomas. Thomas, man. So you guys watch the YouTube? Or yes. Always, or? Always. always. Sometimes oh, for my workout, I'll watch the video. Good workout. You, know work you know, sometimes you don't know what to do, so I gotta yeah, watch the video. Yeah, that's me half the time. <laughs> I make it up and not. <laughs> so wait, let's see the picture. I want to show him the oh, phone. Because I want to like brag. I want to brag it's real crazy, quick. crazy, so... Oh, hold on. Somebody just... But... Yeah, it's it's Bradley on my wallpaper. Hey. But it's kind of crazy. This is like, that was like one, that was when I was like we really good shape. We met before too at the expo. <laughs> Which LA expo? expo. The LA Fit Expo. The, How many the years ago? Just the, Not, this No, year. there was one this that just year. passed, the one last year. And I had a picture with you as well, but of course, I do. Was it my good side? Um, let's see. If it was my good side, it was my It might be side. on my phone, it was I hope here. so. I hope it was my good side. Yes. <laughs> so you guys are from San Diego? Yes. And you did a, what, a trip to San Francisco for the engagement? Well, I just came back from deployment. Oh, right on, uh, bro. Yeah, so, um, Support the I troops. Got, <laughs> I got this picture. Hey, I was small, man. Oh, no. shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, That's what's go. up. Were cool. you there, too? Yeah. yeah was... You guys have a picture together, too. <laughs> oh, he was, I see he was on my good side. This was, this is, he was on my good side on this one. Yeah, that's what's up. I thank thank you for the love, for real. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank no you guys. Problem. Say goodbye. Bye. And enjoy your trip home. Oh yeah, we will. Send it. All right, so I just got in, and uh, oh wait. yeah, now you're on it. Camera is that? It's a Sony. Like a little, like a fancy one. I told you I was gonna put you on the camera. So my mom for the holidays. It's my sister. My sister Faith. They can probably hear you. Say what up. What up? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. I told you. Exactly. You so I said that day. So we're about to eat Benny Hanna's, of course. So that's a video camera too. Yeah, videos and pictures. Yeah. So you can flip it up so you can look at yourself as you talk to me. Okay. I'll show you guys what I eat. Oh, 